Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my spring, summer, kind of summer makeup essentials video. And I have just a nice array of things, mostly makeup. I have one skincare thing, one hair thing, and so let's just get started. So first off for skincare, I'm just going to show you this Banana Boat sunscreen. And sunscreen is obviously kind of obvious for summer. You don't want to get burnt or... I don't know, I just, this is just the Banana Boat Ultra Defense Faces Sunscreen, and it has aloe vera in it, it's oil free, which means it won't make you oil up like crazy, it's got SPF 30, so I just think it's a nice product just to have for your face. Now for the makeup, starting with your face, I have the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Enhancer, three daily essentials in one, tinted moisturizer. And this has SPF 20 in it, which again, this means it's nice for the summer. Um, it's really nice, it won't sweat off, it's light, it just feels like skin. Um, and this is also oil free. And in case you're wondering, I'm wearing almost all of the products I'm mentioning on my face or hair or whatever. Now I have kind of like two cheek products. The first being a bronzer. I love bronzers in the winter, in the summer, just whenever, just to give me a glow. But in the summer, they're especially nice. Just for that bronzed skin, and this is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder in the color Sunny. It just comes in a little compact like this. It's um, perfect matte drugstore bronzer. It's like $3 most places. Next, for a highlighter, um, this is what I use it for anyways. This is the Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer, and I just have the little mini one, and I hate the packaging because it's kind of hard to get open, but it's just a nice kind of shimmery baked bronzer. If you apply it lightly, it works as an amazing highlight, but if you apply it more heavily, then it looks darker and kind of strange. For eyes, cream shadows are always the way to go in the summer, whether you set them with another shadow or not, I always do. But this is just the Maybelline Color Tattoo, and this is part of their new summer line. I love it so much. It's called Cool Crush, and it's kind of like dual chrome. It's um, a silver, but it kind of reflects back purple or blue in most lights, and it's just, it's gorgeous. Do you see this? Do you see this, people? It's just, it's Glorious. Okay, so I just dropped it and I broke a piece of glass off the container. Now, if you want to set that cream shadow with a powder shadow, I would definitely recommend the Too Faced Summer Eyes Palette. This is a limited edition for 2013. They just now came back out with it. And I have to say, one of my absolute favorite colors is Plumeria. And it's just a hot pink color. Um, I thought this would be like the one color I never used, but I actually use it probably the most out of all of them. They also just have cute summery colors, and you can create a neutral look out of this too if you would like. And then lastly for makeup, I have two lip products. The first is the NYC Smooch Proof 16 Hour Lip Stain in the color Persistent Pink. And oh my goodness, I used this so much during band season. I would just throw this on my lips. It lasts 16, 17 hours. And I would be places 16, 17 hours. It lasts forever. And then the very last thing for makeup is this Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in the color Foiled. Now, not all Super Lustrous Lip Glosses have SPF, but this particular one has SPF 15, and it's just a nice shimmery bronze color, and I don't know, I think it looks nice for summer. And, you know, it has SPF. Not all of them do, but this one does. And then the very last product I want to show you is this hair product called the Gotta Be Oilicious Dry Oil Mist, and it's kind of like hairspray. You just kind of spray it on your hair like this, kind of hairspray it up right now. And it just kind of tames frizzies and flyaways, but it doesn't make your hair stiff. It lasts through humidity pretty good, and it's good for oily hair because it doesn't make your hair look wet and or shiny. So that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!